Hey, good morning. This is Mayor Valensky with Driving Markets, driving while talking about markets. Okay, let's kick off. So the PPI came out lower than expected. Producer price index in the US sending markets flying. Overall, indicators lagging inflation indicators have come in better than expected. It was the CPI report, which was the consumer price index. That's the retail price inflation in the States and the wholesale inflation came in lower than expected. That gave a big boost to markets, hoping that the Fed now will end interest rate rises. The probability is that the Fed, the Fed is very near to the end of its interest rate rise cycle. Not because it's got inflation under control. No, it's because any further rises will cause a major crisis in the banking sector and in the economy overall. So this now puts the Fed into a dilemma. They are, inflation is not gonna go down on its own. It's probably gonna rise further, considering that the oil prices have gone up recently from $69, $70 a barrel, up to $83.5 a barrel. That's gonna feed into the next inflation report, and it's gonna put even more pressure on the Fed as to what to do. Now, the Fed is hoping that inflation, both sides, the headline inflation is gonna come down, and therefore that's gonna feed into the public's domain, and the public's gonna be feel, then be aware or consider that inflation's down to 4%, 5%. Real inflation is nowhere near four, five, or six percent. Real inflation or core inflation is running at the 10, 11 percent. But there is a feeling in the in the public's in the public's pocket that Joe Public, when he comes around to spend money, he's got less money in your pocket. Okay, you have feelings that you've got less money in your pocket because the real costs of living are much much higher than the five or six percent that the governments are stating that they are all right remember they measure it on a basket of goods and that basket of goods could be anywhere from 200 goods all the way up to 500 goods depending on which country you're using but the 200 goods is based on energy food housing clothing entertainment education those are some of the factors that are used in the inflation measure as one of the viewers wanted to know how do they measure inflation well they measure it on as i said around about 200 goods okay and if those goods are down that month then inflation is down and if those basket of goods is up then inflation is up it's a simple measure however it does not take into account the whole cost of living across the running of a household and therefore real inflation is much higher and it's going to stay high over the next 18 months now the fed's concern the concern about recession they call it a light recession in 2023 as a result of the banking crisis that could well be but we are going to we are going to go into a technical recession and then we're going to go into a a hardcore feel recession where you're going to feel it much more than the technical recession regarding gold and bitcoin i've been calling gold higher at 2040 it's above that already i believe the next level is going to be 2100 that's my opinion and um, those bitcoin traders who are watching bitcoin going up and up and up it's going to continue rising all the way through to 35,000. however bitcoin is not going to replace gold as a safe haven so you can take that out of your mind that's trash it's not going to happen remove it from any type of thoughts that you have bitcoin is not going to replace gold as a safe haven gold will be there eternally as a safe haven it's a real precious rare scarce metal where bitcoin as far as that's concerned because it's got 22 million coins in circulation there is a belief and a view that because it's only got 22 million coins therefore it's going to be an alternative as a safe haven it's not it's not going to be a safe haven bitcoin is binary it's got no basis it's got no fundamentals to it and it's purely an up or down um uh, asset that's it the fact that it's traded on the financial markets that in itself is already uh, considered a higher grade of investment but you can't put all your money into bitcoin because you never know exactly where it's going to go and if regulation comes in or states begin to ban it then it's going to go down the fact that el salvador can use it el salvador is a banana republic and it's not really a good measure of a state that's using bitcoin anyhow this is may Valensky with financial markets you can subscribe share comment have a good day